Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is Florianson. She's performing the track Winner, written by Tim Ackerman. I did the original version from the album, and then I just did another version with them doing a duet together. And I want to hear Flor sing it by herself. I, uh, oh, how can I say this nicely? Because I like Tim Ackerman. I think he's a good singer. But I, I wonder if uh, he held her back at all in the duet. And what I mean by that is, uh, she was singing loud and strong, and he was still staying true to the way he wrote the track. Uh, meaning that the biggest thing is when he says you're a winner, he would eat that word winner where she was singing it loud and proud. So it's a decision of the songwriter. I'm wondering without him being there, if she continues to change the track to make it her own, which is what I like when people sing other people's songs, is when they take a little bit of ownership in it and they they make it part of themselves and so I'm going to see if she can do that that's a really way of trying to be respectful to Tim here but I, I'm intrigued to see what Floor does so that's some of my thoughts and I uh, hope to really enjoy this track now this is my third listen to it <laughs> we'll see let's give it a go Okay, so in my opinion, she breathed life into the track. 
I actually didn't notice how many times she said, you're a winner, whereas before I definitely did. Here, she just kept pushing and pushing and pushing, which is the point of the track. If you notice the first time she says, you're a winner, she didn't go high uh, because he didn't write that way. But she put her fist out, you know, to give you a bit of convincing feeling. You're a winner. So I like this version best of the three. <laughs> I thought she was really good. What I thought of Tim was he's a, he's a songwriter, maybe more than a performer. And a lot of people are going to be like, no, no, no. But like Pat Alger, for example, who uh, you would know from Garth Brooks, possibly, and lots of other great stuff, a songwriter. And if you listen to him singing, He's very good, but he ain't Garth Brooks. And so there's a difference uh, of, of levels. And so I would like to hear more from Tim. I have been listening to him for a while now, and he really is great. And Flora Janssen, though, she can sing, man. <laughs> so for what it's worth, I really enjoyed that. I truly hope that you enjoyed both of them because it is a cool track, especially when you got pipes like hers. It, it kind of got it kind of got me going, which I think is the intent of the song. So, anyway, thank you. I hope you enjoyed all those versions, and I do look forward to seeing you on the next time. Thank you. <laughs> hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>